What's going on, crew? How's everybody doing today? Welcome, welcome. I am going to let everybody hop in here and then I will start answering some questions because I got a few different things that I've been kind of playing around with today and hopefully going to have some stuff ready for you guys by tomorrow. What's up, Steven? How are you? What's up, Jonathan? What's up, Juanita? How are you? Jen, how are you? Danielle, what's going on? I am awesome. Barb, Sonia, Miss Michelle, how's it going? Maggie, what's up? Mo, what's up? Shelly, what's up? All right, here's the deal. I've been playing around today with some different templates. How many of you guys have seen the Instagram video or the TikTok video or the Facebook video on the cups? So I did this one last week, right? Did this one with some of the signed vinyl that, again, we're still a ways away on this, okay? But I've been playing around because everybody's asking for the templates. And I made a few of these a few years back but obviously they're more popular now. And I created a quick TikTok video, just super quick, it's like a minute long, or the Facebook one actually, I think, where I kind of walk you through it, but it's super fast, so it's really difficult to follow along with. I just wanted to kind of show the process. However, I am going to create a YouTube video to kind of cover the whole process, okay? but. There's a few different ways. So everybody always thinks that you have to ruin a cup to get the template. So what I actually did is I just taped some paper together and then I formed the paper around the cup like this. And then I trim around the top. I exacto knife around the bottom and then I just cut a slit right down the middle of the paper and that's what kind of gave me this template right here. Then once I had this template, I looked at the logo, I traced it out, looking through it with the light board, laid it down on the table, took a picture of it with my cell phone, brought it into the TRW Design Wizard, and then I created the template, all right? So I'm gonna flip around here. This is a template that I just finished up. How do you guys like that one? pretty sweet, right? So, and I don't know if you saw the other video that I posted, but I always recommend when you're testing stuff out to test it out with just the basic sign vinyl, like just your white sign vinyl, okay? And this was the test with just the basic white sign vinyl, just to make sure everything was lined up good, because believe me, it's not super easy like the biggest thing is getting it lined up off the start i'm going to make a video to kind of show you guys an easier way to do it but that actually looks even pretty cool just in the white doesn't it but check this out and even the mermaid in the white because i was testing it out and then i went ahead and did this baby So that one is done. And you know what material that is, right? Because when I come over here and enable the flash, there we go. Reflective sign vinyl, baby. Lights on, lights off. So now when it's dark, and any light hits this, completely reflective. So sweet. So I'll kind of give you an idea and I'll bring you guys over here real quick. Um, wet application will work for the cups. Yes, heck yeah, Charles. I do a wet application. That's the what, what I did in the video as well. And I even created the video 
to show you guys how to make your own um, decal application fluid or solution as well. All right, so let me flip you over here and I'll kind of show you and give you an idea of another way that you can create a template. So the cups I actually just got at Starbucks and you can get them, I think they're like $3. But the best way to get the cleanest template if you want to create your own template is to actually cut the cup. Okay, and then I was just testing out my sign vinyl on the cup here. So I made a full wrap of it. So I can pull this off now if I want to. But I mean, I had, I don't know, 15, 20 cents worth of sign vinyl there. Well worth it. But then when I want to take a picture of this, I can just lay it down like that. That's where I took my picture to create my template, know that my circle was perfect, and that's how, so I, I actually just took a hacksaw and sawed off the bottom, pair of scissors trimmed around the top there, and then just cut it down the middle there to be able to, so honestly, it's probably, I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. You aren't going to have to waste a $3.21 cup with tax here in Florida is what it was. But you're not going to have to waste that because I'm making a template pack that's going to be available tomorrow night during the live. So you'll be good to go. And this is the saw I use just to saw it quick. But I did all the work for you, the difficult part for you. That's the goal. That's what I like to do. And believe me, there was a lot of different templates made and I probably wrapped this thing a good, I would say 10 to 12 times with different sizes to get it to where I got the template right. Um, this one here is, I wanna say, let me look Charles. I think these are the 20 ounce cups and i'm going to make a few different templates for different sizes so you can see they were three dollars each um it doesn't say on here let's see if it says on the bottom here i want to say they were 20 ounce cups though oh yes you're right charles 24 you're right correct 24 fluid ounces it says it right on the bottom where I cut it off. So these are the 24 ounce cups. And just to show you a couple of them. A couple of them that I've done so far. Yeah, venti size. So again, this was just a test one. And where I decided to put the seams on it, I decided to keep this area open. So if you ever wanted to put like a checkbox or anything there to kind of customize it. But I put the seam there because I figured it wouldn't be as noticeable over in that area. And then on the first one, this is the very first one I did. I had the seam off to the side. I didn't like that as much. And then I also made the circle bigger than the logo. And I like it better where it kind of fits it perfect. A little bit more difficult to line up this way, but I think it looks a lot better. And again, don't pay, even though the white still looks pretty cool, don't pay attention to the white. Um, water testing, I've hand washed it a few times already. So I think, I mean, regular just hand, I think it's gonna be pretty good. Like as I move around, even as I scratch it, it's good. So I wouldn't recommend dishwasher, but hand washing, I think is gonna be absolutely no problem. And then obviously the reflective, let's show you this sweet look again. Look at that. And there's a lot of light obviously in the room here, but you can still see how the TRW reflective vinyl just pops when the light hits it. Pretty sweet, right? 
Alright. I don't think so, Danielle. I don't think so. Yes, that blue is awesome. The reflective blue, isn't it? It should not, no. And I actually, on one of them I did a wet application, one of them I did a regular application. Um, the color changing vinyl, we are, we are about a month out as far as stocking our own colors. So this is the one where it's kind of the color changing vinyl. This is the template of the one cup that I made. But we're probably about a month out, hopefully. And I, of course, as soon as we get that, I'll let you guys know. Looking to have about eight to 10 colors. I was even doing some different templates in some 3M wrap vinyl as well, just to test those out. So I was test, and the next thing I'm gonna test out, just to let you guys know, I'm gonna wrap a cup in bling anything material and glitter heat transfer vinyl. I think that's gonna be pretty sweet as well, right? Because bling anything material, then we're dishwasher safe. Now we're talking. We could even throw some rhinestones on it if we want to. So it'll be sweet. Um, I don't know, Miss Michelle. We've thought about that. We've thought about that. The, the biggest thing is just time. It's just amount of, there's not enough time in the day, at least for my side of it. Oh yes, the color changing vinyl, I gotcha. You're saying when it hits something cold. Now I know they have cups like that. I've seen a few different vinyls. Bling anything would be sweet, I agree. What else we got? So, tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on YouTube, we will be doing the Cameo 4 giveaway. I am going to be um, working in True Type Font Pack Volume 1 for rhinestones. There were a lot of cups in our Starbucks. There were, I honestly, I probably should have just bought them all. There were probably like 30 or 40 of them. I probably should have just got them all. Um, we have one-on-ones for Wizard and Corel, Miss Michelle. Yes, we do have that on the website. What causes object doesn't support this property or method when trying to launch CM4 from run? Um, Joe, it's, it's, you have some type of weird object in there. I've gotten that before too. Something within the file is weird. Check for any weird uh, layers, anything like that. Bring it to a new page. It's just one probably weird file or layer or something that's causing it. New page worked, sweet, awesome. All right, so a few things, and I am going to, like I said, tomorrow night, I'm gonna be going over and doing some rhinestone stuff. And what's up, Spark, how are you? But I'm also going to be working on, and we'll probably start with a, a five or six pack. I have a few of them done already, and I'm just finishing working on them. But all-star training is gonna be on Tuesday, Barb. But I'm working on some chevron patterns, working on the kind of the draft look. I got the USA pattern. I got kind of the zebra pattern. So got a few different ones. And then we have obviously the mermaid pattern already. Hoping to have at least one of the packs done by tomorrow for you guys as well. And just basically have them ready to go for you. But like I said, Practice with the cheap intermediate sign vinyl off the start, and then you'll be able to work from there as far as, because like even the red, white, and blue one, obviously I didn't use white, but on the flag one, I had to layer it, and I show you a, a pretty cool way to be able to layer it. Thank you, Sonia, appreciate it. No, Danielle.
Just use Bling Anything and Black Rainbow on a coffee cup turned out great. That's awesome. I love it, Brenda. What's up, Frankie? How are you? Um, just two pieces on the USA Cup. And like I said, I'll get a video on it. Um, could you make an envelope to make the template? Um, you can use the magic envelope within the wizard, yes. Definitely. You got it. All right, crew. Hey, appreciate all of you guys. Tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern time. I'm going to be working on some videos on this stuff especially like the application side of it as far as helping you guys so you don't waste vinyl when you put it in. But rhinestone templates out GCC cutter, um, right blade. The right blade is, the, it's more the right cutter. I mean, the clean cut blade will work. You might have to double, again, the GCC expert is basically a stepper motor. So it's kind of like a big cameo. So you're not going to get awesome cuts with it, but it works. It's just a matter of a little bit more difficult to find that setting, right? Um, tomorrow's training is completely free, Spark. 8 p.m. Eastern time right here on YouTube. Yeah, just go to the website and you'll see the uh, thing to set the reminder for it. <clears throat> just regular sign vinyl, Nicole? The regular sign vinyl shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, that's weird. I would definitely check your blade with something like that. No problem, Spark. Yeah, I would definitely check that out. It's brand new. Well, any, have you cut anything else, Nicole? Anything else that you've cut? Is it cutting all of that fine? You got it, Donna. Just glitter. And what sign vinyl? Just intermediate sign vinyl? And it's not cutting, I mean, intermediate sign vinyl has a lower setting than heat transfer vinyl. So it should, if anything, probably be cutting through it. To access the crafting page, you just got to go to the page and um, fill out the questions and then they'll accept your, your um, kind of invite there. Right, Scoob, isn't it? Heck yeah, that's awesome. Oh, the glitter sign vinyl. Glitter sign vinyl up your pressure probably a little more than Nicole. Up your pressure a little bit more. If, Like I said, always just keep doing test cuts because everybody's going to have a different setting. We always have recommended settings, but everybody's going to have a different setting. So keep doing small test cuts so you aren't wasting material and just keep upping the pressure. And then once it cuts through, you're like, okay, that's a little bit too much. And then boom. Got it? Sweet. All right, 8 p.m. Eastern time. I got some work to do. I got to get these videos done, teach you guys how to do this stuff. All right, crew, have an amazing Sunday, and I'll see you tomorrow, Monday. And I got something special for you guys tomorrow. Stay tuned. Later.